The AK7 for you is absolute garbage and in this video I'll explain why. There has been a lot of people hyping this gun recently after the mid-season update with the nerfs and rebalancing of some guns but I'm here to clear things up. I'm going to be giving you facts and showing you why it's so bad. Anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Taz here aka Fantastic Mr. Fox. Guys, if you're new to my channel, what I do is hints, tips, guides and how-to videos on Call of Duty and Warzone in particular. So if you want more videos like this where I'm giving you facts and giving you value and not clickbait crap like some of the other creators on YouTube, then make sure to subscribe and put the notifications on so you don't miss out when I drop a new video. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to compare the AK-47U to the Bullfrog. And I've got the LC-10 and the Cold War MP5 in here as well, just so that you can understand how it compares to the other SMGs. So I've got the AK-47 in orange, then the Bullfrog in pink, LC-10 in a light blue, and Cold War MP5 in a green. So right here we can see that the Cold War MP5 is always going to be the best close range. You know, very, very close range. And then the AK-47 is pretty close, and this is on chest shots with three plates. You can see it's pretty close. Um, and then if we just change up to headshots, the Bullfrog is always going to be the best best SMG at headshots, always going to be the best SMG at headshots for close range. And then we just look at stomach shots quickly as well. You can see that the AK-47 is just here, and the Bullfrog is still better than the AK-47. So for that reason, I'm going to take the LC-10 out and the MP5 out as well because I'm going to be comparing it to the Bullfrog, which is the best SMG in, in Warzone at the moment, in my opinion anyway. Okay, so chest shots, three plates. You can see that the Bullfrog is always on top, at close range 0 to 15 meters, and the Bullfrog did get a little rebalance in the mid-season update, so it's got an increase in its damage range. So before it was 13 meters, now it's 15 meters, and this is on uh, base base weapons, by the way. And we look at headshots, you know, headshots, again, like I said, Bullfrog is always going to be the best one for headshots. Stomach shots, again, the Bullfrog is always on top. The only difference is when it comes to extremities, the AK-47 is faster than the Bullfrog. But, you know, what that means is no one's just going to be hitting, you know, extremities, which is the legs and the arms. No one's just going to be shooting at that. If you can lose your shots from head and chest, then the Bullfrog is always going to be better than the AK-47. If we just look at the base stats as well, you know, we can see that the Bullfrog has a much higher higher rate than the, the AK-47U. You know, it's, it's, it's about 50 rounds per minute higher than the AK-47U. And the difference, another difference is the bullet velocity. Because the bullet velocity of the AK-47U is better than the um, Bullfrog, that's why the TTKs are quite close. But another big difference we need to look at is the hip fire accuracy. Hip fire accuracy. So this is this 16.5. This means it's got a bigger spread of bullets when you're hip firing. Whereas the Bullfrog has a very, very quite tight spread of bullets when you're hip firing. So that means, you know, when you're hip firing, the Bullfrog is going to be better than the AK-74U. Also, another thing to look at is the ADS times. You can see the Bullfrog has much faster ADS time than the AK-47U. Even the sprint to fire and tactical sprint to fire is slower on the AK-74U compared to the Bullfrog. So that's another drawback with the AK-74U. So now I'm just going to compare the recoil of the AK-74U and the Bullfrog just so that you can get an understanding as to why the AK-74U is so bad. First up is the AK-74U. I'm going to be firing both guns from the 10 meter mark. So right here. Um, this is me trying to control the recoil. And if we get a closer look you can see that the bullet spread is very very far apart. That's me trying to control the recoil. I'm just going to do another one for you quickly at the same mark 10 meters and this is me trying to control the recoil as well just going to take a closer look and you can see straight away that you know the bullet spread is quite far apart there is a little bit of kick diagonally to the right which is quite hard to um to control now we have the bullfrog here the other bullet marks you see on the left is just some other guns that i was testing so just ignore those I'm going to be firing this from the 10 meter mark like before and this is me firing and trying to control the recoil. So if we just go and take a closer look we can see that you know it has a much closer bullet spread than the AK-74U. I'm just going to do another one for you as well just to um, get a better understanding. Same mark 10 meters again and this is me controlling the recoil. 
if we take a closer look again, we can see that the bullet spread is quite close together. And, you know, there is a little bit of vertical, but the horizontal looks very good. So what that means is for us to be able to get this theoretical TTK of the AK-474U, it means we have to hit all of the shots. And as we've seen from the recall, it's, you know, there is a big, big recall um, bounce, even vertical and horizontal. So that means at this, you know, past 15 meters or so, it is going to be quite difficult to hit those shots. Even between, I would say, 10 meters to 15 meters, it's going to be quite difficult to hit those shots because the recoil is so wild. And as you've seen, the Bullfrog has quite a decent recoil. You know, it's very easy for me to recontrol. Um, so it's more likely that I'm going to be hitting more shots with the Bullfrog than I do with the AK-47, AK-74U. So for that reason, the AK-74U is absolutely garbage. And, you know, I've shown you the stats. I've shown you the recoil. I hope you understand that, you know, the AK-74U is absolute garbage. There are people still hyping it. And if you do want to try it out yourself, then I'm just going to show you the um, best attachments for you just now. All right, so the best attachments for the AK-74U, you, if you still want to use it or you just want to try it out, we start off with the muzzle. So for the muzzle, you want to go for the Gru suppressor. This is basically the monolithic suppressor of the Cold War guns. Um, you stay off the radar, you get a little bit of vertical recoil control, um, increased bullet velocity and increased damage range. Next up is the, for the barrel, you want to go for the Liberator to get a little bit of better bullet velocity um some people might go for the task force but you know it's already got a decent damage range so i prefer the bullet bullet velocity so that the bullets hit faster so next up is the under barrel you want to go for the spetsnaz grip this will help with your vertical and horizontal recoil and we definitely need help with the recoil because the ak74u has a wild recoil okay so next up is the ammo i've gone for the 40 round mag drum mag um, you can go for the uh, 50 round, but I prefer the 40 round because there's not much of a ADS penalty on this. Uh, whereas the 50 round mag has a huge ADS penalty. And we already seen that the um, AK-74U has quite a slow ADS time compared to the Bullfrog. So that's why I've gone for the 40. Um, if you want, you can go for the 50. And to counter that, I've gone for the rear grip, the speed speed tape this helps with the ads time so just to counter that um, penalty from the um, suppressor and the um, ammunition so that's the best attachments for the ak74u uh, again i will say this you know the ak74u is absolute garbage i would i would prefer the lc10 cold war mp5 bullfrog um, even the mac10 over this you know I don't like this gun because the recoil is so wild and, you know, you have to hit most of your shots. You have to hit pretty much all of your shots to get that theoretical TTK. If you miss any of the shots, then, you know, the TTK is going to drop dramatically. It's going to be very, very slow. You're going to be outgunned by most other SMGs. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out to understand why the ak 74 u is not a viable option as a top SMG in Warzone. Um, I know there's a lot of people still hyping this gun. But, you know, I've given you some facts and I showed you why this, this gun is absolute trash. Um, there are other guns out there, other SMGs that are much better than the ak 74 u I do have a video up on my channel about the top three SMGs in Warzone. So make sure to go and check that out. So make sure to smash that like button, guys, and to subscribe if you want more helpful videos and not clickbait stuff like some of the other creators on YouTube. Um, have a fantastic day and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, boy.